it's so funny looking back at videos about the referendum <laughs> and especially if they were done in 2016 about and um, by brexiteers because they were making all kinds of crazy claims that none of them would ever stick by now or abandon one claim of course made continuously by nigel farage was that we would be better off outside the eu and that we would be loving it and of course, one claim made, infamously by Nigel Farage, if Brexit turns into a disaster, he'll leave the UK. <laughs> well, have we got one potentially for you? <laughs> because the value of the pound against the dollar was something that, uh, you know, given the size of our economy compared to the US's, something that we were sort of quite, you know, happy about. We were that's that's you know that's not bad given the size of our economy you know we must be doing pretty good concept compared to america right surely the fact that you know you know a pound can you know buy more dollars that's good right it is of course when you're buying from you know a particularly large economy but now it appears that a lot of experts are saying that we could very well be quickly approaching parity meaning that one pound could very well soon equal one dollar. <laughs> and this is not going to be a massive Brexit bonus because this has been on track since very much 2016. And a lot of people think this year it could happen, which could be a disaster for British, you know, the British economy, British financial markets. Um, and certainly something that Liz Truss herself is going to have to answer for in now her new role and how she's sort of going to solve this, because this is could cause quite a lot of problems uh, in the long run for British economies and British businesses. So let's go diving into this article to find out what, what's going on. So as always, please do remember to hit that like, share and subscribe button. And of course, down below, there are links to my Patreon page and our station link called Buy Me Coffee, where you can, well, buy me coffee. And of course, thank you very much to all those who do help and support the channel. And of course, down below, there are the YouTube uh, thank you button as well, a one-off station link where you can use as well. And of course, there's the uh, YouTube Pony Club as well, where you get sort of badges, emojis and uh, free super chat a month uh, if you subscribe to that. So as always, uh, thank you very much to all those people who do help support the channel. And now off we go to London Economic. So this comes from the London Economic, as we said, with the title of No Brexit Bonus. The pound could soon be worth the same as the US dollar. Brilliant. The British economy is now facing another calamity as the value of the pound continues to tumble against the US dollar. And in 2022, it devalued by over 15% against the greenback. And August proved to be another disastrous month for the UK currency. And a lot of people are worrying about this because this is an unfortunate sign that we may very well be headed into a recession. And if that happens, well, <laughs> that's just another crisis that Liz Truss has to solve in the many <laughs> long list of crises that she and her government have to take on. So anyway, it continues. So the pound to US dollar uh, the last exchange rate of Friday the 2nd of September, the pound lost roughly against 5% against the US dollar in the last month alone. This slide has been continuous since the start of the year, leaving the sterling's value in dire straits. As it stands, these figures are amongst the worst seen in the last century. The grim data from August is almost as bad as the crash witnessed in July of 2016, shortly after the Brexit vote took place. Those sunlit uplands we were promised six years ago still remain to be seen, and events like this just show how far the UK's economic reputation has fallen. And as of 10.45 on Friday the 2nd of September, this will probably be different now, £1 is equal to $1.16. Conversely, one dollar is equal to 87 pence. And of course, we remember the days of anything below one pound equals one dollar fifty was considered to be a disaster. Alas, the standards are now different. Over the past nine days or the past nine months or so, that decline has proven to be irreversible. And this graph shows up the entire shit show. And just look at it. Just look at it. That's this year. That's from March. 
just look at that fall. That shows an economy in dire straits. So one thing has to be noted, however, that the US dollar is properly surging right now. The currency soaring ahead in international markets com uh, is compounding the impact uh, that it's having on the pound. However, this can hardly be considered a silver lining. Chris Turner, the head of the currency strategy for the NIG, uh, was discussing the possibility of parity between the two monetary values earlier this week. And he believes the scenario where one pound equal to one dollar is definitely within the realms of possibility. In fact, he said this could happen before 2023, which could truly cap off an abhorrent year for the British fiscus. And yeah, <laughs> it just goes to show you the disaster that is unfolding right now in this country, the economic disaster. And you've got Liz Truss, whose only answer at the moment seems to be tax cuts. Oh, we'll just do tax cuts. Oh, we'll, we'll lower taxes. We've got rampant in inflation compared to every other country in the world. Any growth is going to be eaten up by inflation. This is what we call stagflation. And this is what a lot of people are so worried about. Because Liz Truss seems to think on this ideological bent that if she does these things, then, you know, choo-choo train, you know, growth train ahead. Um, these policies and ideas that she's trying to do go all the way back to the Cameron Osborne years. They've been tried and they failed. So this idea that she has about going back to, you know, throwing off the treasury orthodoxy, um, these ideas have been tried and they've been failed and they've been shown to fail over the past 12 years. If these ideas had seriously worked, do you think we'd be in this state where we are now? No. And unfortunately, we are headed in the exact same direction because Liz Truss is an ideologue, a zealot, and everyone that she's probably going to bring into the cabinet is the same way. Kersey Kutang, who is highly tipped to be the next chancellor, is exactly the same. He was one of the authors of Britannia Unchained along with Liz Truss. So we are in for a wild ride, ladies and gentlemen. We are really in for a wild ride. And oh boy, it's, it's going to be interesting, but it's going to be even more fun to see how they try and explain their way out of this, considering they are going to try policies that were tried and failed. Even ones that Ricky Sunak on the campaign trail just a couple of weeks ago was saying, um, yeah, we've, we've tried those, they've failed. So we're going to have to see how this all turns out, but given that graph, it doesn't, it doesn't look good. It doesn't look good at all. So as always, thank you very much for watching. Please do remember to hit that like, share, and subscribe button. And of course, down below, there are links to my Patreon page and our foundation link where you can buy me coffee. And thank you very much to all those people who do buy me coffee every so often. And of course, down below, there is the uh, one of station link as well called the YouTube thank you button where you can, well, press the thank you button. And of course, there is the YouTube um, subscription as well where you get badges, emojis, and whatnot as well for uh, for your YouTube. And of course, as always, thank you very much to everyone who does help and support the channel, even if you do just hit the like and share button. So as always, thank you very much for watching. And of course, we'll see you all next time.